What up? Welcome to the weekend. I had another intro filmed with my camera camera and it was really close to my face, as you'll see here. The recording. Oh, this is so weird. <clears throat> so I decided just now that I think whenever I do like filming me, I'm just gonna use my phone because it's just a lot easier and I can like actually see. The only thing we have going on today is we are going to visit the Rawlings Conservatory in Baltimore. And I think after that we might go to Union Craft Brewing um, for adult beverages. But that's really it. I mean, we don't really have too much going on today. It's just gonna be a really chill weekend and honestly we kind of needed it because for the past like three or four weeks, it's just been, we've always had something to do, whether it was plans with friends or cleaning the house and organizing and running a bunch of errands. Um, today, we just don't, we can just do whatever we want. And I guess that's what the weekends are for, right? Right. All right, I didn't want to make this intro too long, so I'll see you when we get there. Oh, it's so bright. We are walking to Shake Shack for lunch. I'm really excited. We walked to Shake Shack. Oh, I was like zoomed in. And then we came back to the car to eat because we were really paranoid that we were gonna get towed because we we're in a 30 minute only parking space. So, what's this one we got? Crazy turn of events. We were eating and we didn't see it but a, I'm pretty sure a scooter ran into the back of this car and the guy fell down. And it just kind of like all unfolded while we were sitting right here eating in the car. But luckily the guy wasn't hurt. He, it looked like his jacket was just kind of messed up a little bit. And they kind of just went on their separate ways, but it's like a crazy thing to see. <laughs> Why would you market luxury apartments? like that. Why? Why? us fashion we were commandeered by a duet of I think it was a cellist and a bassist bass. yeah yeah and he saw that I was like taking some video so he asked if I could 
video them doing a song. So we exchanged business cards and, and everything. And then the couple that we saw, or we saw a couple that the guy proposed to the girl and he asked me to take some pictures because apparently their friend wasn't actually taking any pictures, which that kind of sucks. So we had to recreate it. But look, there it is in the background. But it's always an adventure, huh? Always. Always. Poor Brad. He's being a super trooper while I'm doing all this stuff. <laughs> Thus is the story of our lives. Craft Brewing, you probably can't hear us. By this little trailer, there's like one million people here, and it's really crazy. So, this is all I'm gonna film. Bye. Well, that was crazy. There were so many people. <laughs> we bought impromptu tickets. To, it's a it's an impromptu kind of day really is what I would say so we decided to follow that trend and we got tickets to go see the Lego movie 2 at 8 45 p.m. because that's how we roll there's a whole bus coming in right now thank God we left they close in an hour oh it's a brewery that's probably why but anyways that's the plan I'm excited to look at this footage. It is many hours later and we ate dinner and now we're gonna go see the Lego movie. Very exciting. Good morning. It is the AM and today I am going to go through some stuff in the basement, some like old clothes and stuff because we we went through everything on the main level of the house and now we have to like go through basement and storage and like summer clothes and things like that and kind of just donate and get rid of things that we don't need. And then I think I'm going to do attempt two at trying to find jeans at the thrift store. We have stuff to do around the house too. so. I think that's what we're going to do today. Look at this. Little tiny thing. Hi. Okay. I haven't done an update in a while. So right now I am on my way to donate all of like the clothes and knickknacks and stuff. And then I'm going to go to into Goodwill. And then I'm going to actually go into Goodwill and look see if they have any jeans and then kind of like oh there's an ostrich farm it's so crazy you're an emu whatever that's crazy I didn't know that they had that there um and then I always like just kind of browse through the home decor section and like the books and stuff just because I, I really like thrifted books I found a lot of like really nice hardback books so that is what I am doing right now. Alright, so I got, it's so weird to film in a parking lot when there's like people around you, let me just say. So I ended up getting this men's natty bow shirt, but it was, so 
Mr. Bow is a local beer that us Baltimoreans love and love to hate. <laughs> and we're going to Disney World um, in at the end of March. So, uh, I got this. So, I think it's like it's a pretty big shirt. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to like tie the tie the bottom of it and like fold the sleeves up and everything. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do my little flying with that. So, I got this. And everything with the yellow tag was half off, so I ended up getting this for $2. And then I found two pairs of men's Levi's jeans, and these are the 550s. So I am, and they're like jean jeans, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and make them into shorts because they fit awesome and I'm pretty pumped they're like brand freaking new and I ended up getting these I ended up getting those for they were $5.99 but um, because I have the Goodwill like little text thing that you can get I ended up getting them for $4.49 so my total was $11.11 which was pretty cool because that's just like a fun little number that Brad and I kind of like. But she asked me if I wanted to round up to the next dollar to donate. So my total ended up being $12, which for two pairs of like vintage nice Levi's and a shirt, ma'am, I will take it. Also, I hope that you are the kind of people that are watching this that actually put your carts back and you're not shitty and you don't leave it just like in the parking lot for the poor people that work there to have to get when it's cold as hell outside so anyways anyway these are the jeans that I got and they fit pretty well up here and they look real nice on my butt oh yeah really cute but like clearly yeah that's like that's not gonna that doesn't work for me I feel like with like a little shirt it's so cute if it was just like they were cut off and rolled up so that's what we gonna do this is another pair of jeans that I got that I cut off and I really really like the length of these so I'm gonna use these kind of as a guide so I'm gonna get out of the frame now because it would be really awkward to try and do this. So. I'm just taking a eyeliner pencil. And I'm just gonna mark where I'm going to cut the jeans. This is like the laziest person way to do this. I've seen people do this and they like measure and stuff and I just don't have time for that so this is what I'm doing. So obviously when you're cutting this you definitely want to make sure that all of the wrinkles are out and you can always cut off more so try to cut off more, a little bit more than you think. Since I already kind of had like an outline of what I wanted to do I'll, I'll cut just right below. And I'm not really worried about the edge being too straight because I'm just going to roll them up anyways. And I also noticed that when I'm like cutting it, I kind of have to curve it up because of the contour of my leg. And now you've got some really sweet ass. This is like the worst joke ever. Alright, so... I'm just going to roll these up a little bit and then I'm going to see what they look like on. And now I have these super cute lol Levi's little shorty shorts. Super cute. Wait, what? I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. Ready for summer. 
with my high-waisted mom shorts. I did it. It is only 5.30, but I think the plan for the rest of the night is just to make food and kind of chill out. Um, I need to shower and then go to bed pretty early. But I'm just like, I just started to feel not so great, like really fatigued and stuff. So I don't know what, what's going on, but I think I'm just going to close it out here. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Peace.